Hello, I'm Norman Clark with Norman Clark Painting. Today I'm going to talk about painting a dining room. These are the materials and tools that you will need in order to do this job efficiently and correctly. First of all, in our covering materials, we will need some painter's plastic, some painter's blue masking tape, a drop cloth, and some masking paper. These are to cover and protect the area that we're working in. Second thing we're going to need are our preparation tools, which are spackle, spackle knives, and a screwdriver. Next, we will, we will need our painting materials, which will be a paintbrush, a small two and a half inch paintbrush, a small roller, a paint bucket, and our paint. Once we have those tools and materials ready, we are ready to proceed. proceed. The first thing that we want to do is to take down any pictures and picture frames and remove any furniture that is in the way of our, of our project. For right now, the dining table and the chandelier are going to stay because they are heavy and expensive items and delicate in which to move. So first of all, we're going to spread plastic over the top of the dining table to protect the top against any you know, paint splatter and such. And then we would also cover the chandelier. Once we've done that, we will move on to our next process, which will be to lay a drop cloth down and to spackle and cork any holes or cracks that we find in our, in our walls or ceilings. Once we have the room prepared, ready for painting of the walls, we're going to put masking tape along the, 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 the edge of the walls that we're not painting so that we keep them nice and clean. Also, we will do the same along the ceiling. That way we get a nice, easy, straight ceiling line when we're finished. The other thing we want to mask are any woodwork or uh, baseboards that aren't getting paint painted. So basically, every area that is not being painted, let's put tape on it and keep it clean. The first thing we're going to do in our painting process is to paint the walls with our paintbrush. We do this to cut in so that we can get very close to the wall with our brush so that the roller doesn't rub up against the other wall. Typically we'll come out about three inches from the corner. This will give us a nice wide swath in which we can roll close to without actually hitting the walls or areas that we are not painting. Once we are ready to roll, we take our roller and we work in a diagonal pattern. This will help spread the paint evenly across the surface of the wall. Once we have done so, we will then take our roller and move it in an up and down vertical direction so as to spread the paint even, even further across the wall and even more smoother. This will give us a nice even texture so we can move on to the next section of wall. We repeat this until the whole wall has been done in the same way. Once we have done that, the first coat has been done. And once that is dry, we are ready to repeat the process of cutting in with the brush and then rolling on the second coat, which should give us our final finished product. I'm Norman Clark with Norman Clark Painting and I showed you today the correct way in which to paint your dining room. Thank you.